right that I should have to pay $40 to pick a middle seat. So I just booked my flight to New York City. She haven't been to New York in over a year, basically since I moved here last June. And when I first moved here, I thought I would be going back a lot more often. All my friends are there, my husband's family is there, but with working and school and baby, basically haven't had a chance to go back. So I'm really excited to go back. It's for my friend Dania's birthday. Uh, so we have some birthday stuff planned and it's also Labor Day weekend. So I'm gonna see some other friends as well. So this New York trip is gonna be kind of like a mini vacation, but I do still have my oral boards coming up uh, at the end of September, September 20th. So I'm gonna try to do as much studying as possible before I go on the trip so that I can really enjoy and not think about it during my trip. So oral boards exam, if you guys aren't familiar, is basically the last part of my board certification process. And it's basically a test where you kind of go through the cases verbally with an examiner. Kind of like role playing, you're going through different scenarios and talking about what you would do. Um, if you guys are familiar with Grey's Anatomy, I think they had an episode kind of earlier in one of the seasons where they all go to a hotel and I think Mr. Feeney was one of the examiners. It used to be all in person, so it used to be a hotel in Chicago that everyone had to fly to and take the tests in, I think, the hotel rooms, basically. Um, but with the pandemic and everything, now everything is uh, virtual, it's gonna be on Zoom. So I'm actually gonna be sitting right here in about three weeks taking my oral board exam at this computer. It's a new type of test, like you don't do a ton of this in med school or in residency. So I think half the work is just gonna be getting familiar with the exam process and like figuring out how to study for this very interactive exam when you're studying on your own. studying to make some breakfast. 11 o'clock, it's 11.20 and I haven't had anything to eat. And look, Benji's breakfast mess is still here. This is my fancy weekday brunch. Yogurt with fruit and lavender syrup. Eggs with cheese and some waffles. Back from lunch, time for more studying. It's so hard to study for oral boards because you need like another person administering the test. So I feel like I'm just doing a lot of like thinking. I gotta do a lot of like thinking out loud, I guess. All right.
from 8 a.m. to 4.30. This is a moonlighting shift, meaning it's like a shift that I picked up to do. Not in the emergency department, but in a different clinic, so it's kind of like a bonus extracurricular work. Benji's been really picky about vegetables and even like some protein lately. So in this fried rice, uh, there's hidden asparagus, mushrooms, some turkey slices, and he loves rice. So he eats all of this. So quick hidden <laughs> veggie and protein fried rice. <laughs> some presentations basically to facilitate a meeting between different clinic leadership. Um, so for this particular meeting, there were some concerns about how some of the patients were managed. So I was just laying out kind of the timeline of the patient care and what the thought process might be behind all of that. And I could probably do the meeting without the presentation, but I think it just helps to have like a visual aid to talk about what happened. So. That's why I'm making a presentation. So you might be asking why I'm doing these presentations and meetings, and it is part of my fellowship, but it's actually a regular part of uh, what someone might do in healthcare administration, you know, coming up with different protocols, different when working with different departments, um, communicating with your doctors, nurses. It's, it's something I guess I'm learning to do better in fellowship, but it is something that the whole um, like clinical operations team is what we call it. Uh, it's something that they do kind of on a regular basis. So I got this work laptop a couple of weeks ago, it's a MacBook Pro. Um, and I found myself just using this one primarily. So I'm actually going to trade in my iMac. And funny enough, this small MacBook Pro is actually a lot more powerful than this big iMac. So I think it's time to say goodbye to the desktop. pretty easy to pack it up and it's nice that they send like nice protective box for it and a pre-labeled um, label too. So I guess I should just drop this off at FedEx. Goodbye iMac. You're a great tool. This is my new desk setup. It's a lot more portable which I like. I can take the laptop with me anywhere and it'll still just be the same, um, but I can still do all the same things. The only thing I do miss is the numpad on my keyboard, because I actually really like having that. So I might get a keyboard with the numpad. So I haven't been to New York in a year and there's been a bunch of new places that popped up that I want to try out. So the first place is a bakery called From Lucy and it is a, uh, one of the new cake bakeries that has all these delicious sounding cakes and they decorate it with fresh flowers and it looks really good. So that's one place. The next place is actually another bakery called Lady Wong. My friend from work actually told me that I should really go there and if I go there, I should bring her some stuff home. So I'm gonna try to make it here. Apparently it has a lot of um, like Southeast Asian treats. So it looks really good. Next place is um, a restaurant called Evan uh, Evelina in Brooklyn. And I believe it's like a Italian restaurant. And I'm gonna try to have lunch with my um, co-resident 
here. Again, the food looks really good. Another place I want to visit is the new um, Sporty and Rich store in Soho, which I believe opened up last month. And it's kind of like a clothing store, but also like a smoothie bar and like a wellness type of things. And I just want to check it out. Um, the other place I want to check out that's also new is um, a place called Manhattan West. Um, it's not like one store or restaurant, but it's actually a collection of stores and restaurants. And I've heard that they have made it look really nice and with some really good restaurants there. So check it out. Next place I want to check out is the new um, Ivy Leon Dore store. It's not new, but I think they change the store up from time to time. So I do want to go see. And then some of my other just regular favorites that I miss and haven't been to in a long time. Nonya is one of them, uh, which is a Malaysian place. Um, it's cash only, it's really good. Another place that I really miss from New York City is um, Renew Day Spa, which is where I used to go and get foot massages. I go to the second location, I'm hoping that I'll have a chance to visit again. So if you're in New York and you see me walking around downtown, feel free to say hi. This video will probably go live right as I'm arriving in New York. So. Hope to see some of you guys. So these are all the outfits that I'm bringing with me to New York City. This is gonna be my travel day outfit, little layers so that I can stay warm on the plane. Thank <laughs> you. 